The radical Islamist movement is gaining ground in Germany, with immigrants attempting to apply their traditions and laws to their new home. The country's government, however, is trying to curb the spreading amount of extremist Islamic sentiment, as Arte's Peter Oliver reports. Germany is cracking down on Islamic extremism. And the latest move, three Salafist organizations were banned after it was deemed they wanted to implement Sharia law in the heart of Europe. Those behind making the ban insist they're not anti-Islamic, just upholding the law. We have more than five million Muslims living in Germany and there's a lot of uh, fruitful cooperation and living together and I think that has to be safeguarded as well as Germany is an open society and we are able to integrate all people um, by various religion or whatever. But on the other hand, if someone wants to stay in Germany, he has to fulfill the obligations to keep the laws, to accept that we have special laws in the fight against uh, terrorism, for example, and who is keeping these laws has no problems, who is not keeping the laws has no right to stay in Germany. The decision to outlaw these groups coincided with police foiling an assassination attempt on one of radical Islam's biggest critics, far-right party chief Marcus Beisicht. I underestimated the danger the Salafists pose. They were arrested very near my house. This brings the situation into a whole new dimension. My life has changed. Now I cannot walk without police protection, not even shopping. I'm picked up from home, dropped off at work. We're driving in a bulletproof car. This is very difficult to have such a lifestyle just because you engage in politics. In all, four people were arrested with bomb-making equipment and loaded weapons found in their possession. Beisicht's critics say he brought this on himself. His party incensed members of Germany's Islamic community last year after touring the notorious Mohammed cartoons around German cities symbols that are deeply offensive to Muslims. This assassination attempt shows that now they want us to shut up with the use of violence. In their eyes, Islamic extremism should not be allowed to be questioned, and if you do, you end up on a death list. It's dangerous, a scary development. Salafism is one of Germany's fastest growing Islamic sets, attracting both Muslims and converts. Official figures show their numbers are growing by the thousand every year. Those who fear what they see as the Islamification of Germany believe the country's previous experience with extremism leaves it unwilling to see the risks. The problem is that Germany is always afraid of the danger from the right. Because of our past, we're very sensitive about that, as we should be. But the danger of Islamification is totally underestimated. We will not capitulate, we will not stop, we will not abandon our path. The banning of groups with links to extremism is the way security services are looking to tackle potentially violent organisations. However, this leaves the question, will it drive extremism underground, perhaps making it more difficult to thwart future attacks? Peter Oliver, RT, Germany.